Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today the hunt has come to me in the form of this big package from Pat in Oregon. That's right, Pat in Oregon had been threatening to send me a package some time ago, and then I didn't hear from him for a while, and then suddenly, just a couple days ago, this showed up at my door, and I needed to get a mini forklift to lift it, because it's very heavy. And uh, I do not know what's in here, but it feels like it's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, iron chalice or something. It's it's quite heavy, and I'm uh, very curious to see what's in here. If I collected lead ingots, I would say that's probably what's in here, but I don't collect those, so I don't think Pat would ever send me that. If you haven't been over to Pat and Oregon's channel, well, I don't know what you're waiting for. I, I have uh, I've told you before on this channel that uh, watching Pat and Oregon's channel is one of the things that uh, inspired me to create the Card Wolf Network. I was watching Pat back when uh, he had... I think only about uh, maybe 25 or 30 subscribers and uh, you would leave him comments saying, you know, this is your channel's going to take off, man. You have no idea. And sure enough, it has. I think he's up over 800 subscribers at this point and he is uh, he's he's really doing quite well for himself. And I am not surprised at all. His channel's uh, very enjoyable. He's always getting new product on the day it releases. It seems like he's always the guy who's got the new product the day it releases and he knows all about the new releases as well. Uh, he'll tell you all about the different inserts and you know what you can find and especially helpful. Pat talks about what the best format to buy something. Is it the hanger box? Is it the hobby box? Is it the blaster pack? You know all of that. He, he'll he tell you which one is the one where you're going to maximize your uh, possibility of getting really good inserts and pulls out of that. He seems to really keep up with that stuff. Whenever I have a question about that, I just I just email Pat or message him in the comments or something, and he's always right on top of it and knows the answer, like, right away. So, uh, Pat in Oregon, uh, if you haven't been over to that channel, I'll link to it in the description box below, and you can check it out. And uh, we are going to open this up today and see just what uh, he has sent me. I'm very curious, because he uh, really, like I said, did not give me a lot of uh, information about this was going to even be on its way or, or anything. It just showed up and uh, all he's done since then is uh, make an evil laughter sound in the comments, which is, you know, uh, he spelled it and that's kind of what I think it is anyway. It could just be like the sound a cow makes when you when you step on it or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I think it was. If it's the other sound, then I have no idea what's in here. A couple of uh, quick shout outs to do before we open this uh, big package from Pat. The first one is to a new subscriber to this channel, Baseball Card Illustrated. That channel is run by a guy named Bronco. Bronco, thank you very much for your subscription. I appreciate it. Bronco is the name of the guy, and his channel shows a lot of his recent buys. Uh, it shows he's, he's building sets. He shows you a lot of progress towards those, and he uh, does a lot of giveaways, actually. I was looking at his channel. It's like every, like, every week, it seems like he's doing a giveaway of some kind. So that's pretty awesome and worth going over there for that alone. But uh, he's also really enthusiastic, and he goes to a lot of shows really... Uh, really into the hobby and really knows a lot about what he is uh, collecting and, and really dispenses a lot of good information over there. So Baseball Card Illustrated is the channel, and I uh, want to thank you again, Bronco, for your subscription. also want to shout out one more channel, Silver Scorpion. Silver Scorpion is a channel that is not about scorpions. Don't worry. It's about silver. It's about metals, really. This guy collects coins, and he collects other metals than silver, and uh, he really knows his stuff. I mean, I collect coins too, but uh, Silver Scorpion, like, is really just knows a, a lot about what's going on in collecting today. There are a lot of uh, small, it seems like small blacksmiths or what have you that are making their own coins, really beautiful artistic coins out of silver and other metals, and Silver Scorpion will often feature those. I've never seen, you know, any of that stuff before, and uh, it's really, some of it's really quite beautiful. Some of the coins that he finds and knows about are, are things that I would never have uh, ever seen otherwise. So um, the other thing he does over there is he, he really follows the metals markets. Like I think every week or so he does uh, a, a program, you know, one episode where he really focuses on talking about the movement in the metals markets and, you know, you can kind of get a, a real insight into what's going on there and how things might, you know, go in the future and what would be a good investment or to get out of, stuff like that. So you know, whether you're into coin collecting or, or metals or just into investment, I mean, that, that is a, it's a pretty good channel to check out. And I'll tell you one more thing about it. He is trying to get to 2,000 subscriptions. So he is on the road to that. He is mounting new subscriptions every day, and he is going to get there very soon. And I bet that uh, some of us can help him reach that goal. So uh, 
best wishes to Silver Scorpion trying to get to 2K. I know you're going to get there, man, and I am looking forward to the amazing giveaway that uh, you're going to do. He's already announced some stuff for that and just looks enormous. So uh, go over to Silver Scorpion and see what you think. It's a good channel. All right, so right now we are going to get into the, uh, the box that uh, Patrick has sent me, and uh, I am... Like I said, completely in the dark as to what is in here, other than perhaps some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the Crystal Skull from the Indiana Jones movies. It feels like it could be, it's about the right size, and it feels like uh, it's pretty heavy. I don't know how heavy Crystal is. I don't really keep a lot of Crystal in the house. Being a card wolf, not Crystal Wolf, you know, I don't really have a lot of that around here. So uh, we're going to just open this and stop speculating. Let's see what we get here. Got uh, Mr. Kershaw to help me out, as always. We'll go through there, and then we'll come around this side and go through there. And uh, we'll go across the top here and see. And try not to uh, damage anything that might be inside here. I have to open this pretty carefully, as you guys know. I'm always very, very careful about getting into these packages, because I never know what's in here or how they've been packed. Pat has sent me... Uh, Rack packages before, and he always packs them very carefully, though, so I, I'm not too worried about disturbing the contents. All right, there we go. And it looks like there is a letter in here. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> As you can see, there are some directions here. I'm going to fold up Mr. Kershaw's always practice good knife safety. Keep those out of the reach of small children. All right, so we got start up here and finish town here. All right, well, it's good to have these directions because I would otherwise be con confused. All right. Rack pack number three. Yeah, I, I had just said, actually, that Patrick has sent me a couple of these before, though uh, this this one feels awfully heavy and big. All right, let's read, let's read the letters. As you guys know, that's my favorite part. Whenever you guys send me stuff, the letters are the things that really matter most to me, and I keep all of them up here on top of the card wall and always uh, take a little bit of time uh, every now and then to look at those and look back at them and remember all the great stuff you guys have sent me. So let's see what Patrick has to say today. Hey, Card Wolf. First of all, congrats on getting over 250 subs. Hard to believe it's been over seven months, right? Well, that's true. I'm coming up on a year myself, and it's been a humbling experience and a lot of fun interacting with so many different people in this hobby, many of which subscribe to both our channels. That's true. Well, this box has been sitting on my desk for over two months, and every time I mentioned in your comments that I'd be sending something, I end up opening more stuff and saying, oh, Cardwolf might like that one, and adding more to the box. <laughs> all right. Well, here it finally is. Plus, I threw in a couple of surprises again, so make sure to follow the instructions. I hope you like it. Thanks again for being one of my earliest supporters. I'll be cheering you on your road now to 500 and beyond. <laughs> well, I think that's a bit ambitious for how many subs this channel will ever get, but I certainly appreciate the encouragement, Pat. Good luck on the hunts, Patrick. Well, thank you very much, Patrick. That is that is an awesome, awesome letter, and that will be going up here with the other letters that you have sent me over the uh, many months that I've been doing this channel. So that is awesome. It says uh, to start here, so I'll get this padding out of the way and toss that there. And uh, this big box says, uh, what does it say? Hopefully these help with your heritage set. Oh, well, that is awesome. All right, let me move this back just a little bit. So I'm going to move it to the side here so I have more table space to get into this box that was on the inside here. All right, look at this. This, uh, this looks to be a whole big batch of heritage cards. I'm not going to go through all of these because this would take a while, and this will definitely help... I was just, and it has some inserts in here too, that's really nice. Thank you very much, Patrick. This is uh, definitely going to help. Quite a few inserts here, including the uh, coveted and treasured Richard Nixon card that I know you guys are all lusting after. This will help a lot. I was just going through uh, my heritage efforts uh, the other night and uh, thinking, wow, I still need kind of a lot of cards for this set. A lot of high numbers, obviously, but there was still a surprising number of uh, non-high numbers that... Uh, I, I need for that thing, so I will add those in, and uh, I bet that will help me quite a lot. Thank you very much. That is awesome, Patrick. I really appreciate that. Just knocked my satellites down, so i got to set those up again, or else this will stop transmitting to you guys all around the world, and I, I wouldn't want that to happen, so let's get that set up. There we go. All right, so we've got a, says to start here, and there's a stack of stuff back here that I'm pulling out of the uh, box, and I'm going to do that. And this is 2022 Series 2 Orioles, so uh, that is awesome. And I will go through these and see what's in here. This looks great. 
these up here where you guys can enjoy them too. Baltimore Orioles team set there. It looks like they're pretty happy and they should be happy, man. Quite a win streak, streak that they have had going here. Dean Kremer, Austin Hayes, Pat Valeka, and Anthony Santander, George Lopez, DJ Stewart, Marcos Diplan, Ryan Mountcastle, nice gold cup card there. Second year Mountcastle and Mike Bauman. Awesome, awesome. Love to see that. Those of you who watch the channel know that uh, I do collect Orioles and Ravens cards because I grew up in Baltimore and still feel very loyal to those teams, very fond of my uh, home city's sports teams. Wow, this is a beautiful Cal Ripken card to start off this stack of Oriole cards. This is from the Select Stars set. That is that is beautiful. I do not have that one. And that is an insert card from Panini from 2000. What is that? That's recent. Hmm. 2022. Wow. Yeah, I have not seen that card. That is awesome. Another select Cal Ripken there. That's pretty sweet as well. Beautiful Brooks Robinson. Look at that one. That is awesome. There's Mike Bauman rookie card. Very nice. Oh, wow. These are from the uh, Topps Chrome anniversary set. I just opened some of this on the program last week and uh, sent a bunch of cards off to uh, some of you guys who I, I know have gotten a couple of emails from you so I know those cards have gone out and that some of you have started receiving them and uh, now here I've gotten some Orioles from Patrick Chance, Chance Cisco there. Nice Eddie Murray card. That was one of the cards I was hoping to get and did not so that's really nice to see that. Here's some Gypsy Queen of Austin Hayes there. There's Dean Kremer and Trey Mancini. Ryan Mountcastle, that's a nice second year Mountcastle, I like that one a lot. And then, uh, oh, this is a, a nice blue parallel insert. This is uh, Zimmerman there, that is, uh, that is a really nice one. I like that. And there's uh, Adley Rushman from Bowman, that is a prospect card. And there's uh, Austin Hayes rounding the bases on that pink parallel. And I believe, is that a, I'm not sure, is that a silver parallel? I think that might be a silver one, I'm not sure. Another Austin Hayes there. Very nice. Wow, that's a beautiful Eddie Murray card. I've never seen that one. That's an old Stadium Club card, I believe. What year is that one from, I wonder? I'd need to uh, put on my special spectacles to read that. It looks like it's from 2020. I've never seen that Eddie Murray. It's a really nice one. I should have brought these closer to the camera. Ryan Mountcastle from Bowman. That's a nice one. Adley Rushman, Bowman Chrome. Colton Kowser, Bowman Chrome. Oh, wow, that's a sweet card. Of Kowser right there, the Bowman in 3D insert. That is awesome. Very nice card. Oh, and a nice Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, of course, is uh, from Baltimore. He was born there, and uh, they have a, a museum dedicated to that. The Babe Ruth House is in Baltimore, which I visited several times. So that is very cool. Nice, uh, nice ad. I appreciate that. I'm going to put Babe Ruth on top, in fact. That's really cool. My son's going to really like that Babe Ruth card. He, uh, For whatever reason, he's latched on to Babe Ruth as his favorite player. I've explained that Babe Ruth hasn't played for a long time, but... Nonetheless, all right, so what is this? 2021 Mosaic Ravens. Wow, that is awesome. I haven't opened that much 2021 Mosaic. I think I've only opened, uh, I think maybe, has it just been one hanger box? I, or no, I think I opened a blaster and a hanger of that, but I did not get too many Ravens out of it. Beautiful orange parallel of Lamar Jackson. That is really sweet. And there is, uh, what is that? Got Game Lamar Jackson. That's a really great one, too. I do hope Lamar Jackson has got game this season. He is going to need to really step it up. And there's Dobbins, who was injured all last year, the running back for the Ravens. That's a bang card. I don't have any of those. That's really sweet. Rashad Bateman, rookie card, NFL debut. I thought Bateman looked really good last year, and I think uh, his second year he should really blossom, especially if uh, Lamar Jackson can get back in shape and Tylen Wallace there, another good receiver for the Ravens. Ray Lewis, of course, uh, one of the all-time great linebackers in the NFL to ever play. A couple of those, very nice to see. I like that. Lamar Jackson, Mosaic. J.K. Dobbins, Mosaic. Ray Lewis, Mosaic. A couple of those. Trent Dilfer, quarterback for the uh, Ravens quite a while ago. And uh, there's Patrick Queen, a uh, good linebacker for them. I think he led the uh, team in uh, tackles last season. Ray Lewis, Super Bowl MVP card of him. Very nice. Lamar Jackson AFC card. That's pretty cool, too. I haven't seen that one. Well, I don't think I had any of those. So that is awesome. Man, you are knocking it out of the park, Patrick. Thank you very much for all those Ravens. Now, what do we have here? The last uh, last team uh, package here in the uh, stack is 2021 Prism and Contenders 
Ravens. Well, that is awesome. That is great. I've not opened any 2021 Prism. It has not shown up in stores by me, so I'm uh, quite sure that all of these will be new to me. We've got Marcus Peters to start us off there. Let's get these in focus for you. Very nice. Tylen Wallace. Nice rookie card there. Odafe Awa from uh, the Ravens as well. Patrick Queen. Nice orange prism. Lamar Jackson. Man, these orange ones are beautiful. I don't know if you can see the foil details in those, but they're very nice. All right. Now, what do we have here? This looks uh, this looks pretty sweet. Rashad Bateman rookie card. Mem card. Check that out. That is some nice purple swatch right there. That is awesome. Man, that is great. Patrick, that is very, very generous of you. Thank you very much for that. That is really nice prism memorabilia card there, and it's a rookie of Rashad Bateman. That is really sweet. Thank you very much for that. That is an awesome card. Very excited about that one. That is really cool. Season ticket cards. These are from contenders of Lamar Jackson, the great tight end Mark Andrews, and Marquise Brown, who is uh, no longer with the Ravens, thankfully. So, wow, the, that is... Man, that, that mem card is something else. All right, so i got to follow the instructions. It says, uh, open me last for that one. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Open me second to last, and then open me first. All right, and this is from the, uh, the second stack that I should get into. So let's see what we have here. Got, uh, let's see. All right, 2021 Phoenix Football from Fanatics.com. Exclusive factory set of Fireburst Parallels Raven Team Set. Yeah, say that five times fast, the uh, note says, and I don't think I could say that five times fast. I could barely read the note as it was. Well, I have not seen, uh, now what, uh, yeah, this is uh, the Phoenix football. I, honestly, I don't think I've opened Phoenix football at all, and it sounds like that is an online exclusive, which I, I usually don't, for whatever reason, I don't get into the online exclusives. I'm not sure why. Well, these are beautiful. Let's get this in focus. You can check that out. That is gorgeous. Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, these are beautiful cards. Look at all of that foil on there. That is nice. Marquise Brown, Justin Tucker, Tylen Wallace, rookie. Man, this is great. Rashad Bateman, rookie. Odafe Owa, rookie. And Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens has not got a lot of attention, actually, on the Ravens. Those are beautiful cards. Thank you very much for that, Patrick. That is something that uh, I have not even seen, much less actually held in my hand. So that is a, a real treat for me. Thank you very much for that. That is extremely thoughtful. I really appreciate that. So now what is this? This is open me second to last, and in there we have some Gypsy Queen packs. Well, that is awesome. Man, I've not opened Gypsy Queen on the channel. I don't know if you guys uh, are aware of that, but uh, I really i have had very little luck finding that on the shelves either. I'm going to put those aside, and if we have time, we'll open those at the end, or we'll move those to uh, another one. So that's that's the last thing in the box is this open me last one, and I'm very excited to see what is in here, see how we do. Oh. oh, man, this is the thing that I've really been looking for lately. This is a, a prism pack, and uh, you get a bonus pack is, is stuck in here as well. Man, I've been looking for these for a while. All right, I've, I've got some stuff to open, so I'm going gonna, gonna to pause the camera and move these piles off so I have more room to work with here, and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. I've rearranged the table. Pat sent me so much stuff that there was no room on it for me to operate without doing that first. So uh, we've got this awesome 15 card pack with a bonus pack of brand new 2021 Prism Football. I've been looking forward to getting one of these and I mentioned at the top of the show that Pat always knows what the best format is for maximizing your uh, potential to get a good hit. And uh, on his show when he was opening Prism, he determined that this was the best one, not the uh, the big blaster boxes, not the hangers, not any other kind of format, that this is the one that one should look for if they're getting NFL Prism cards. So uh, I'm looking really forward to opening that. I've not found any of that near me. And uh, then there's uh, three Gypsy Queen, which I have not opened at all, and I'm very excited to see. I've loved some of the inserts that I've seen come out of this on the uh, channels that I've seen open this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with that Gypsy Queen, and we'll see how we do there is very exciting for me. Thanks once again to Pat in Oregon. And as I said before, if you have not been over to his channel, please head over there. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. There's uh, Lopez from uh, the Marlins. Let's get these up closer to the camera so you can check them out. And uh, we've got Joey Bart from uh, the Giants there. E. Rosario from the Braves. Jose Altuve 
from the Astros, Torres from the Yankees, and Moncada from the White Sox. A little hard to read, that's why I'm pausing at these. They're a little hard to read because, as you can see, the names are in these sort of, uh, they're in this style that uh, it's meant to mimic what uh, these sort of uh, flip things used to look like. You'd see them when you go into Grand Central Station or something like that. Up on the big board they'd have, you know, where the trains are going and what time, and they'd be in this very old-fashioned style where uh, the, they were on these big wheels with all of these different pieces of uh, plastic or paper, and they'd flip them until they got to the letters that they wanted. They're very cool to see, but uh, unless you've seen them, these, uh, the way that they have these letters on there probably won't make much sense. But really cool. Uh, I like the way that Gypsy Queen tries to uh, mimic sort of uh, antique stuff. I think that's pretty cool. We got a blank white card on the back there, which I assume is meant to confuse people, and it has certainly confused me. There's Guriel Jr. from the Blue Jays, starting us off from this pack. Garrett Cole, of course, from the Yankees there. There's a Zerpa rookie card from uh, the Royals, and Reynolds from Pittsburgh. And there's a Luis Gill, a rookie card there from the Yankees, and uh, Paredes from uh, Detroit, and then the, uh, the blank card, which I guess is a security card. So uh, these are very cool cards. I, I think they're really pretty cards, and uh, I'm glad to finally see them in person. I'm not sure if I will purchase more of these or not. You never know, but uh, Luis Robert starts us off here. The, the art on these is quite nice. Uh, I'm not sure that I love how the names are printed, quite honestly, and uh, you know, the the eyes on Card Wolf are not what they used to be when I was a younger wolf. There's uh, Bradley Jr. from Boston. Uh, Gilbert from Seattle. And then we have an insert right there. That's Castillo from the Reds. And uh, I'm not sure, I, is that a bronze insert or a brown insert? I'm not sure what that is. Williams from the Brewers. And we finish off with J.D. Martinez from the Red Sox. So uh, that's Luis Castillo. That is actually numbered. I, I thought I'd better look just to be sure, and it is indeed numbered. That's 389 out of 399, so nice numbered pull there. Thank you very much for those packs, Patrick. That was uh, very fun to open. Those have not had a chance to do that yet. Of course, now we get to this one, which I'm really excited about. You guys know how much I like opening football. That is uh, probably my favorite thing to open, though I don't open as much of it on the channel as I would like. And uh, so I'm really excited to get into these prism cards. This, uh, this is going to be a real treat for me. We'll save the bonus pack for last, as is the way of most people who rip cards. And uh, we'll get into this this pack here. I believe it's 12 cards in the pack. And uh, see what we get out of this. I'm really, really excited to see these. So let's see. We start with Cooper Cup, the uh, leading receiver in the NFL last year. Cooper Cup. And then Carson Wentz. And Buda Baker, one of uh, the great defensive players in the NFL, there with the Cardinals. Billy Sims, former running back for the Detroit Lions, great running back for uh, many years for that team. Rashawn Gary from uh, the Packers. Logan Thomas. Lamar Jackson, how about that? That is, <laughs> that is pretty awesome. And you can see I've set up an array of the uh, cards that uh, came out of this amazing rack box from uh, Patrick. I set those up. When I took the break to uh, clear off the table a little, so I had more room for this. Zeke Elliott right there. Mike Allstott, great runner for uh, the Buccaneers for many years. And uh, this one is upside down, so that is a, a rookie card of Kelvin Joseph for the Cowboys. That's a pretty sweet card there. And then you got A.J. Green, great receiver. And then our insert is a fireworks card of Trevor Lawrence. That is pretty spectacular there. Beautiful insert and a rookie card for... T-Law, as uh, the fans of Mr. Lawrence like to call him. So that is a pretty sweet pull there. I like that one. F21, that one is the fireworks insert. So that is a, a pretty nice one right there. And we still have this bonus pack. Let us not forget. Let's see what we have out of there. These should be the uh, much promised, uh, I think there are three pink cards or something that you get out of here. So let's see what these look like and who we get out of here. All right. Here's uh, DJ Chark Jr. to start us off. He started us off with the last pack of football that I opened on the channel, I think during one of my variety rips, either uh, earlier in the week or last week, I can't recall. And uh, flip this one around, get DeAndre Swift. 
uh, from uh, the Detroit Lions. Great running back. If the Lions can get their offensive line together, Swift is going to be a superstar. He's a really good running back. And then our last card is Noah Gray from uh, the Chiefs. I'm not that familiar with, quite honestly, but DeAndre Swift, I'm happy to get that one. I'll take that any day of the week. Really nice. Uh, maybe these are red, white, and blue. I have to look at the wrapper again and maybe see what we are. Uh, yeah, they are. They are three red, white, and blue cards out of that bonus pack. So that's pretty cool, too. Happy to get that one. Man, what an array of cards from Patrick. I really appreciate this. Again, if you haven't been to Pat and Oregon's channel, I have linked to it in the descriptive box below, and you can easily go over there and check out his uh, his rips and the things that he's been doing. He just, last night, I watched him open. I did. I was watching. He opened uh, some brand new football product that uh, I think you guys will be pretty into. It's Chronicles Football, and so there's a wide array of really cool foily cards and, and acetate stuff out of there. There were some great cards that he pulled, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. So, and again, of course, he had this big box here of uh, the Heritage stuff. I'll put that over here. Man, so many great cards. Pat, this is an awesome, awesome bunch of cards. Thank you so much for sending me this. I, I am, I'm going to have a lot of fun going through these again this evening after the kids are in bed. I will sit down and treat myself. This is, uh, this is just great, my friend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. A lot of fun opening this on the channel today. I, I really, man, so many great cards. It's awesome. All right, so I'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, my content tomorrow is probably going to be Dorking with Dice. will be the first one that uh, will be an all-baseball box of Dorking with Dice. So I'm planning to do that tomorrow, Saturday. I'm driving down to Salt Lake City to uh, run a couple of errands and pick up my father-in-law from the airport. He's coming back in from a trip. So I'm hoping to hit some card stores when I do that. There are some uh, down that way. Maybe a comic book store as well, if I have a chance. Depends on how much time I get, but... Need probably be no content over the weekend for me, but definitely some content tomorrow here on the Card Wolf Network. And I'll see you back here then. In the meantime, as always, happy collecting.